Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Fatima. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how I got my hair to this dark burgundy slash red wine type of color. I will also be taking you guys through the install process. This unit is from Eunice Hair. This is 28 inches of their straight hair and it is so long. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I got my hair to look like this, then stay tuned. Okay guys, let's get right into this. This is what the wig looks like after it's been freshly washed. I ended up using five boxes of the L'Oreal High Color Highlights in the shade Magenta. And then I also went in with 40 Volume Developer. Last time I used 30 and I felt like it wasn't doing what it needed to do. It wasn't lifting to the level I wanted it to lift. So this time I went for 40 Volume Developer and in my opinion, it worked a lot better. So I'm using like this bleach tub as a mixing bowl. So I started out by using four of the L'Oreal High color um, highlights I used four at first and then I went in and added a fifth one at the end when I was working on the frontal and then I'm putting in my developer of course and mixing everything in I did not measure anything I was just mostly looking for consistency I wanted this to be very thick and I did not want for the dye to be like watered down with the developer so I didn't put too much I still wanted this to be very thick like I said and so that is what the consistency looks like now for applying the dye so i braided the frontal up to get that out of the way we're doing that last i divided everything into sections so i think i'm going in three or four tracks at a time and i'm applying the dye and then i'm making sure to get everything i'm being really generous with the dye this is not the time to be stingy girl so make sure that you're applying a lot and make sure that when you do buy the dye just always buy more than you need because you don't want to be in a situation where you don't have enough so yeah, I'm applying a lot, I'm being very generous, and then at the end, I'm combing through everything just to make sure that the dye gets absolutely everywhere. So I'm wearing clothes that I don't really care about just in case like any dye gets on my clothes, it doesn't really matter. And I actually placed a towel underneath my wig so that if anything falls onto the floor, which dye did fall, it just ended up falling onto the towel. So if you're like on carpet, especially, or if you have hardwood, like this will definitely stay on your floor so that's just something to note so now we're on to the frontal i undid the braid and i did everything normally except for the fact that at the root i applied the dye vertically so i wanted to give myself a little bit of a gradient effect i didn't want the burgundy to start right at the root i thought it would make it look a little bit more natural if it was more gradient and that's exactly what it did you guys will see later on other than that i did everything else like normal i made sure to put a lot of dye i saturated the hair and then i combed through everything at the end i only applied the dye until like mid hair shaft and then at the end i went in and applied the dye on all of the ends when i was done dyeing the wig i went in and put a plastic bag over the hair just to make sure that the dye does not dry out so that the dye can keep processing um, personally i feel like it makes a difference when i do do this versus when i don't so this is what the hair was looking like it was looking nice and burgundy so now it's time to wash it out i left everything in for about two hours so after i was finished um dyeing everything i gave myself an extra two hours and then i washed it out so i'm just washing everything out now and then i just let the hair air dry for a day and then i went in and straightened the hair after it was completely dry Hey guys, so this is what the unit is looking like after I let it air dry and I straighten the hair as well. So this is the color that it's giving. It's basically like a dark burgundy red wine color. I actually really, really like the color that this gave. And especially for me, because I'm not necessarily into bright colors, I like the fact that this is more of like a muted burgundy, I guess you can say. And this hair is really nice. This is 28 inches of their straight hair and it's super long. Let me just show you guys. So yeah, this unit is definitely giving inches. I already did, of course, bleach the knots and pluck the frontal. I actually bleached the knots before I dyed the hair. And then that's when I got the idea to dye it burgundy. But the knots are still intact. Um, it did not get dyed by like the red burgundy color. So with that being said, let's get right into this install. This is going to be a quick install process. I'm not gonna, going to be using like wig glue. I'm probably going to be using my ebon spray. So now I'm going to cut my ear tabs off.
Now I'm gonna go in with my Evan spray. I'm gonna spray this across the hairline, tie it down, and then when everything dries, I'm gonna cut off the excess waste. Okay, so I let the spray, the Evan spray dry off. While it was tied down, and now I'm gonna cut everything off, all the excess lace off. I don't know if I should use an eyebrow razor or my scissors. I'm gonna use my scissors, because I feel like I have more control that way. I'm gonna get really close to the hairline, of course, and start cutting. I will not be cutting in a, in a straight line. Um, I'm gonna try and make a jagged line. Okay, so this is what this is looking like. Obviously, it is not melted. There is like a white line all around, pretty much. So how I'm going to fix that is just go in and spray the ebony spray on my finger. And then press it in to the lace. You know what, maybe I'm gonna use my pencil comb. Just the back of it, spray it, and then So now, I'm just gonna go in and create my baby ears. I took my elastic band off. Okay, so I curled up my little baby hairs. Now I'm gonna use the edge booster to do my baby hairs. I'm just gonna dip my baby hair brush in that and then swoop it. Okay, so now that my baby hairs are done, I'm tying it down once again just to make sure that everything stays in place. Um, and then I will be giving myself a middle part. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm also gonna pluck right here a little bit because I feel like it needs a little bit more plucking. So now I'm going to go in with my Carry Fair Wax stick and just put it everywhere. Especially where my part is. And then I'm going to use my hot comb once again to just flatten everything out.
okay so this install is pretty much complete i love the way this looks like this install is just so sleek and the hair is so straight like it's bone straight and it's so flowy and i haven't put anything into the hair i didn't put any type of serum and this is how it's flowing just gorgeous and i didn't even like after i bleached the hair i did not go in with some silicone mix or anything so i'm surprised at the way that this hair is holding up it looks so freaking good i'm obsessed with this color it's definitely giving a fall and i love that so with that being said thank you so much to Eunice hair for partnering up with me on this video i love this hair if you guys like the video of course like the video leave some comments down below let me know if you guys are into this color you guys told me that you wanted me to do more color so i did burgundy for fall let me know if you guys like it and of course if you're new here go ahead and click that subscribe button i will see you guys in the next one